Hi everybody, today's focus is a follow-up video and a viewer request. I am testing ozonated water to see if it can remove bacteria from lettuce. So I released a video that was a viewer request where I tested just some various ways to remove bacteria from lettuce. I can put a link to that video in the description below if you haven't seen that. And then I conducted another follow-up video where I tested um, removing bacteria and lettuce with hydrogen peroxide because that seemed to be something that my viewers really wanted to see. A lot of people asked me to test hydrogen peroxide. Another very common suggestion was to test ozone. I received comments from SJV9147S, Ither Field, CC Elms. Now, CC Elms has been with me for a long time. I think, CC, you were probably like my 50th subscriber. So um, I'm really happy that I'm able to test another one for you. Birgit Ditto 2133, Aura Ceretti 5260, Pierre Espiso 4265. Kimberly Santolochi, 1575, Zigzag Bureau of Investigation, and others. So it never occurred to me that people wash lettuce with anything more than just water or maybe a little salsa soap, because that's what I used to do. And you can see all of that in those first two videos. So when I received all these suggestions to test ozone, I was like, okay, I didn't even know you could purchase something to ozonate your water. So I went on Amazon and I started looking for ozone machines. And what I found is there's maybe one or two on Amazon for like maybe 13 to $20. And then there's some for like five or $600. So I was like, okay, well, what do I do here? So I chose to get one that was like $130, okay? This particular ozone generator can do both water and air. Now I'm just testing it with water, but I wanna make sure everybody knows. But if you're using an ozone generator for air, you cannot be in the room while it's working and the room must be aired out completely before entering the room. So let's unbox this and see what's inside and read the directions. What's this? Ah. The first thing I can see when I open the box is this nice door hanger. It says no entry, ozone sanitization in progress. This is great, just like I said, you're not supposed to be in the room when you're using one of these for the air. Just like I pointed out in the other lettuce videos, I'm going to say this. I'm in no way saying that you have to remove all the bacteria in your world to eat your lettuce, okay? There's harmful bacteria in the world and there's beneficial bacteria in the world. We have bacteria all around us and we couldn't survive in the world without it. I'm testing to see if we can remove bacteria from lettuce because my viewers have asked me to. And quite honestly, if we're finding that different ways are not removing bacteria what we think it is, then maybe we don't have to waste money doing them. Okay, we also have the paperwork. It says water treatment ozone generator use a manual. Let's open this up really quick and give a quick read through. They have your health and safety warnings, which I would ask everybody who purchases any sort of machinery, especially an ozone generator, to really read through all of these warnings. I'm not gonna read through them all here. So I'm gonna look for the directions for water treatment. Here it is. Okay, so it says step one, connect the hose, insert the hose connection into the air outlet, place the other end in water. Okay, we'll do this. Step two, use a timer, plug in power, press the green button, water, set the control knob. If you're not sure, start with 15 minutes and increase as needed. Okay, here's the tubes I was talking about. And let me get the machine out itself, hold on. And here is the machine itself. And I'm gonna be using the water setting, so I'll be paying attention to this green water button. So in order to test how well this water ozone generator removes bacteria from lettuce, what I'm gonna do is take a Petri dish, just like this guy here, and label them A, B, and C. I'm gonna take sterile swabs, and I'm going to swab the lettuce. I'm going to place that sample in the section labeled B for before. Then I'm going to wash the lettuce according to those directions using this ozone generator. I'll remove the lettuce, rinse it, dry it, swab it again, and place that sample in the section labeled A for after. Seize the control, nothing goes there. So let's talk about how I can run this test. So the first thing I'll do is I will clean my sink in the bowls, in my colander, with palm olive dish soap. I'll put a link in the description below to how well that removes bacteria so you can see for yourself. Then I'm gonna spray everything down with a fresh batch of Force of Nature, and I'll put a link to that video in the description below so you can see how well that removes bacteria. I will swab my water so you can see that there's no bacteria in my water. I swab my water a lot. 
um, and there's never been bacteria in my water. However, a lot of people like to tell me that the reason why I get these results was because I have bacteria in my water. I do not, and if I did have bacteria in my water, you guys, I would have such a big problem in my house, way more than this YouTube channel. I will also swab the paper towel. I've never had a paper towel swab that's had bacteria on it either, but I will do it again because again, I'm having a lot of viewers say, you know, I need to see these results, so I will. I used to do those things as a behind the scenes test where I would just test it behind the scenes. That way I knew if there was bacteria there, oh, I can throw this test away, but it seems like viewers really want to see those results too. So I will swab both my water and my paper towels so you can see that they are not causing any contamination of bacteria on the lettuce. I will also just use tongs that will also be washed with palm olive in spray with force of nature in between each uh, iteration of touching the lettuce. Now as for timing of testing, so the package insert said, we'll start with 15 minutes if you don't know. So the first one I'll do, I'll do um, just a five minute soak with water. So you have something to compare to. Then let's do the ozonator for, I don't know, maybe four separate batches of uh, a five minute, a 10 minute, a 15 minute, and a 20 minute. So let's see how well ozone can remove bacteria from lettuce. Now for some results. Let's start by looking at the sample of the water and paper towel. Well, we can see here that there's absolutely no bacterial growth on the side that I swabbed my water and my paper towels. So any bacteria that we see in the lettuce testing, it's not due to my water or the paper towels. Let's look at the sample of lettuce where I washed it only in water for five minutes. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria, and in the after section, we're not seeing much change at all. So just soaking the lettuce in water for five minutes, then rinsing it, did not remove any bacteria. Soaking in ozonated water for five minutes. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria, 
And then the after section looks like there's a slight visible decrease in bacteria, but there's still a tremendous amount of bacteria left over. So having the lettuce soak in ozonated water for five minutes didn't really do much to decrease the bacteria. 10 minutes in ozonated water. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And then the after section, Again, we're not seeing much difference at all. There's still a lot of bacteria after. So 10 minutes in ozonated water didn't do anything to remove the bacteria from the lettuce. 15 minutes in ozonated water. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, it looks like there's no difference. We're still seeing a tremendous amount of bacteria. So soaking the lettuce in ozonated water for 15 minutes did not decrease the bacteria on the lettuce. Soak in ozonated water for 20 minutes. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, we can see maybe a slight visible decrease in bacteria, but there's still a lot of bacteria there. So a 20 minute soak in ozonated water did not do anything really to decrease the bacteria. But there was one thing that I noticed on this 20 minute section, the after bacteria is growing in a slightly different pattern. So uh, it might be difficult to see in the photo, but it does look like the colonies are slightly different, but there's still an awful lot of bacteria there. First, I should mention that I did test this lettuce one day after the sell-by date. I had intended on doing this test on exactly the sell-by date, Things happen, life happens. I had to do it a day after the sell-by date, but honestly, if it's a sell-by date, we should be able to eat it a couple of days afterwards because that's just when you're supposed to sell it by, not use it by. I was actually a bit surprised at how much bacteria was on this particular batch of lettuce one day after the sell-by date. I definitely feel like this batch of lettuce had an abnormally large amount of bacteria on it. I hate to think that it's just the fact that I waited one day after the sell-by, but it is a variable that I can look into in future tests. Despite the fact that the lettuce had, I think, an abnormally large amount of bacteria on it, this ozone machine didn't do anything. It seems, from my other tests also, that removing bacteria from lettuce is difficult. And I know we're gonna have the people come in right here and say, it's probably beneficial bacteria. That's great, but there still should be some means to be able to remove it. From my other videos, even the other methods were not really able to remove the bacteria from the lettuce. So this might not be the best test to test this ozone machine. I don't know yet. I will probably experiment with it in some different ways. Actually, I'd like to hear how you would like me to test this ozone machine. Should I ozonate some water? and then try to clean hard surfaces with it to see if it can decrease bacteria. I don't know what other tests I should do with this Ozo machine, so put them in the comments and let me know what you think. I would like to only focus on doing the water tests with it. I'm really not interested in doing any air tests with it. So I'm a bit disappointed that this ozone machine was unable to remove the bacteria from my lettuce. However, maybe there's some other surface or maybe there's something else that it would be able to remove bacteria from. Um, we'll just have to kind of experiment and see if we can figure that out because I feel for like $130 machine, it should be able to do something. And of course, there are a lot of variables with this test. I could test um, the lettuce four days before its sell-by date, on its sell-by date, three days after its sell-by date. There's a lot of different variables that I can do. If there's something that you're interested in, put in the comments section, and I will take into account what my viewers are interested in seeing. But just be aware, there are a lot of variables that can impact a test like this. I can't take the same batch of lettuce and test it over and over and over again. Each time I do this test, I just get what I get. So the before bacteria is really going to vary depending on the lettuce. I did use the same brand lettuce, but again, um, it did have a huge variety in the amount of bacteria this time. I even considered not releasing this video because I know people want to see what does remove bacteria from lettuce, and so far, I haven't found it. So if there is a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor and put it in the comments section and I will add it to my viewer suggestion list. Or you can mail me something. My email address is in the description below. Just send me an email and we can have a conversation about the product. It might be something that I've tested already. It might be something that I have in queue or it might be something that I just don't have the ability to test in my home. But let's have a conversation about it. Then I can give you my mailbox address and you can mail me something. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. Have yourselves a great day.